What's good, y'all? Fist Vegas, the hardest voice of sports. Go ahead, hit that like button and subscribe to the Fist You know why you at it. Y'all know what time it is. If you ain't with it, you best get with it. Now let's rock. Alright, look. I'm starting the video off by saying shout out to Kayvon the Conqueror. Kayvon the Headhunter. Kayvon the Animal. That boy is a beast. Kayvon is a problem. That's a problem right there. Y'all not ready for that. He only a rookie. He only a rookie. It's only going to get worse for y'all. It's only going to get worse for y'all. I'm just letting you know. I, I got to start this reaction off by saying shout out to Kayvon Thibodeau. I, on the podcast before the Cowboy game. So whatever episode of Giants Outsiders before the Cowboy game. I went in on Kayvon. I was tired of him not getting no sacks. I was tired of him not hitting quarterbacks. I was tired of it. He been a beast ever since. Kayvon, you are him. You are him. You are that dude. You are the man. You are everything we drafted you to be. Lawrence Taylor. Michael Strahan. Ozzy. Tuck. JPP. Kayvon. And Ojolari too. I ain't going to disrespect. Oh, Ojolari, you a monster too. We got two monsters over there, bro. We got two of them. And we got big decks in the middle. Don't disrespect the talent on my Giants team. I was just talking to my dad about this. We just got to survive the season. We just got to survive the season. We got the building blocks. We got the building blocks. Joe Shane going to get us an inside linebacker so we can stop getting ran on. They put a graphic on the game. What was it, like the third quarter? They put a graphic on the game. They said this is the worst run defense in Giants history. I think we'll be giving up like 5.4 yards to carry. This is through 14 games. That's the worst run defense in Giants history. So we got to fix that. I don't even complain about the secondary no more because Adori ain't there. McKinney ain't there. I mean, I don't even complain no more. When, 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 when the secondary get bombed on, I just I just I just shake my head. Because his bums out there. It's a randoms playing corner out there, bro. It is. It's just it is what it is with the secondary. But you know what? When it comes to clutch performances, when it comes to fourth quarter wins, don't nobody do it like the Giants. Okay? You got you got that miracle. I don't know what to call Minnesota. Minnesota got voodoo dolls. Minnesota and the soul they sold a saying. I don't know what Minnesota doing, but between Minnesota and the New York Giants, don't nobody close games out better than us. Woo! We had the, the, the that Trevor Lawrence game, this game, the Titans game week one. I mean, we, yo, I'm telling you, man. Woo! It's just, <laughs> these fourth quarters, y'all, just, yo. But listen, I'm so hyped. The Giants are going to the playoffs. Eat it. Eat that. I'm going to say it again. The New York football Giants are going to the playoffs. And I hope we lose out. I don't want to win another game. I don't want to win another game this season because I want the seventh seed. I want to play Minnesota in the wild card. I want primetime Kirk Cousins. I don't want no parts of that team in the Bay. I don't want no parts of that team in the Bay. I want Minnesota. I want Kirk. I want primetime Kirk Cousins. That's who Big Fist want in the wild card weekend. Don't it feel good right now, Giants fans, that we're talking about a we're talking about wild card weekend in December? Normally, we're like, yo, what wide receiver we taking? What tackle we taking? What draft pick we getting? No Giants fans. I'm talking about wild card opponent selections. That's what I'm talking about. Do I want to play? Who I want to play Minnesota? Do I want to play San Francisco? These are the conversations. The conversations are no longer Charles Cross or or, or Evan Neal. It's no longer Sauce Gardner or Kayvon Thibodeau. It's no longer Makai Parsons or Devontae Smith. Those aren't the conversations no more. The conversations are now about playoff positioning and playoff matchups. We have come a long way. Like I told my pops, 
I would I I would ever get blown out in the playoffs than draft top five like we've been doing the past five seasons. I, this Giants team, we ain't winning the Super Bowl. Maybe next year, get Daniel Jones some receivers. If we about to get to, we about to get the number eight in a second. But we 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 just happy to get to the playoffs this year. That's that. That's all we wanted. We started off six and one. We're going to the playoffs. This season is a W. This you can't chalk this season up under anything but a W. <sighs> Dang it, feel good, man. Now let's get to them. You know what's coming. Y'all know what's coming. The chosen one, the anointed one, the one who fell from the sky to deliver the New York football giants from evil, Daniel Jones. He did it again. That drive in the second quarter, that touchdown drive he led in the second quarter, that was Tom Brady-esque. That was Tom Brady-esque, okay? What you have to respect about Daniel Jones is he puts you in position to win. He may not do no extra OD stuff because he ain't got no extra OD receivers that bum Darius Slayton dropped two balls to start the game. I was ready to throw something at my TV, but my TV is worth more than Darius Slayton, literally. So I'm just like, you know what? Let me chill. Danny going to stop throwing him the ball. We gonna, And that's what he did. He stopped throwing the Slayton. He started hitting Richie James, hitting Hodgkins. And we was throwing the ball to Saquon Barkley, who made a lot of plays in the passing game today. And we was good. A lot of clutch third down throws. Standing tall in the pocket. Hitting this man. Shout out to Danny. All you haters out there. Primetime Danny. What y'all going to say now? He won a primetime game. Standalone eight o'clock games because obviously primetime games in London don't count. So because primetime games in London don't count, what y'all gonna say now? My man Daniel Jones just won a primetime eight o'clock Sunday night game. Shut up, okay? Shut up. And another thing, freaky, we should have swept these cockroaches in Washington because we should have closed them out two weeks ago. But Heineke had that fluke on fourth down. We no flukes today. We want no flukes in this Sunday night football game. We closed out these Washington c cockroaches, and that's that. It's over. It's over. Bye, Washington. Bye. Get lost. Go home. Prepare for the draft. <sighs> Shout out to number 26, um, Saquon. You you earned your bag. I would give Saquon that. He ran us in the field goal range. Daniel Jones had a clutch run. But Saquon, that's what I'm talking about, baby. Shout out to Saquon. I know I've been slandering you this week, saying you mad replaceable and we need to let you walk. That may or may not be true. But for, the, but for right now, Sunday night, 1140 on the dot, Saquon is that dude. That's what I'm talking about. Run that, run the air out that ball. I don't know why the Giants didn't line up in I formation. What was it? Remember when we played the um the Jacksonville Jaguars and we was running out the clock before Saquon ran out of bounds? But we ran the same. What was it like a power O or was it a counter? I don't know what I don't know what we ran, but we ran the same run play to the right side of the field like five straight plays. To close out the Jaguars. I don't know why we ain't running that play today. Like there had to be some stuff we could have got Saquon Saquon Daniel Jones under center, ran it up the middle, probably some outside zones, get Saquon on the corner. I felt like running the ball read options out of shotgun. It was it was a little predictable because we we just kept running it. But I mean, that's what Kafka does. Kafka Dable, when something works, they'll run it to you, stop it, and they stopped it. Graham Gano, two clutch field goals tonight. <sighs> Man, what a game. What a freaking game. Giants are going to the playoffs. Cowboys clinched the playoff berth. The Giants basically clinched the playoff berth, man. <sighs> feels good. <laughs> it feels good, yo. <sighs> oh, man. I, I just... Mm. Mm, 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 mm. I hope y'all took it in with me. I hope y'all took it in with me, Giants fans. We are going to the playoffs. 
We are going to the stinking playoffs, man. I hope y'all, t- that felt so good. Uh, that 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 moment right there, that was Darius Slayton drops. That was Evan Ingram drops. That was QB sneaks. That, that was Eagles tanking on national television. That was a lot of heartbreak. That was the, that was a, that was a moment of silence for all the bad crap that we've had to put up with the past few years. And now we're going to the playoffs. That, that moment that we just shared together, Fisk Unit soldiers, Giants fans alike, that moment of silence, that moment of elite that we shared together, that was the end of the rebuild. We are a playoff team. And that is the floor from here on out. Kayvon, rookie, Neil, sophomore, Dexter, fourth year. Don't even get me started on Danny, Saquon, Evan Neal, Andrew Thomas. We're good. McKinney going to come back. This is us. Shane going to get some weapons, man. We're only going to get better. And we're only going to get better. Happy days are here, and they not going nowhere. No time soon, Giants Nation. This is us. Get used to it. <sighs> that's it. That's all, man. Subscribe to the unit if you're rocking with me. My name is Fist Vegas, and I approve this message.